Hey, I'm Ophir and I'm a postdoc at Princeton University. Uh, my name's Carlos, I'm a PhD student at Princeton University. And uh, together we wrote SWE Bench and we also wrote SWE Agent, which we are presenting right now at New Rips. What are you most excited about for the next six months in the agent world? I think we're gonna see a lot more uh, big model releases around, like focused on agents, and those are gonna like really push the frontier of these frameworks and these systems on solving all types of tasks from software engineering and other types of cool things, yeah. Yeah, when we built SWE Bench, we built it on top of existing language models that weren't necessarily trained or fine-tuned for the agent tasks. And what people are working on now is on taking these huge models and actually fine-tuning them on agent trajectories. So they're kind of building not only the infrastructure on top of the language model to do agentic tasks, but also building the language model itself to be able to handle these complex tasks. And so I think we're going to see performance on SWE, Bench, and other related benchmarks uh, go way up. Um, another question I have is uh, we're launching SWE Bench Multimodal. Can you briefly tell me what the difference between SWE Bench and SWE Bench Multimodal is? Yeah, so SweeBench Multimodal takes the same framework, evaluation framework as SweeBench, but it extends it to images, so it extends it to issues and problems that focus on like visual kind of reasoning problems and front end issues and graphing and mapping and charts and lots of other types of hard problems in like, like a new multimodal dimension to really challenge like these multimodal models. I think like there's a lot of limitations to multimodal evaluation and especially in like a kind of real task oriented dimension. Uh, multimodal, SweeBench multimodal is like a real world kind of uh, evaluation of, of these types of systems. Yeah, so in the regular SweeBench, you have bugs, you have like these like terminal only programs and the bugs will be like, hey, this you know, this command isn't returning the output I'm expecting, but in SweeBench Multimodal, you'll actually have visual things. So, hey, this plot isn't rendering correctly. Hey, this web UI element, there's text like leaking out of the button, like that shouldn't be happening. So that's the type of challenges that you have in uh, SweeBench Multimodal. And so I think it's much tougher in a lot of ways. And we launched it a few months ago, but uh, the submission uh, portal has not been open, so we're going to open that probably by the time you're watching this. So that it's a week or two after New Rips, we're going to open that, and we're really, really excited uh, to have people submit to SweeBench Multimodal. Last question: What non-SweeBench, non-SweeBench Multimodal tasks are you excited to kind of you know read about, work on in the next year? Yeah, I think, so the great thing about software engineering is that there's so much infrastructure about like validating changes to code and validating like the type of human labor that goes into actually doing software engineering. And so uh, I'm really interested in, in like doing uh, more evaluations on new types of tasks and new types of problems where we can try to try to maybe reproduce a way to do the same type of verification and like really kind of iterate and improve these types of agent models and agent systems um, on like all types of problems so one thing that I'm really interested in is so I work a lot on programming, but I think that there's a lot of tasks that are not related at all to programming that are super interesting. Like for example, doing research, both academic research, but also on a personal level, I do research all the time. Like I need to find like a gym that's open at 8 a.m. and has this type of workout class, or I might need to find a certain type of restaurant in a certain city that's open you know, at this time. And so we have this EMLP paper called Assistant Bench, where we uh, benchmark agents and their ability to answer these types of questions. I'm really excited about that. Now, I'm really excited about building better um, assistant tools for actual researchers, helping them understand like, hey, what's the state of the art on this task as of today? And like kind of doing research for researchers. That's something that's really exciting to me. And I think we're going to see a lot of results there in the near future.